Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to a State of the Channel Address. Just want to update you guys on what our current series are and what the schedule will be and uh, what it's going to look like in the next few weeks because uh, there's a few extra announcements that I have to put in here and that's going to affect some of the, uh, the scheduling that you guys might be used to. First of all, in terms of the Let's Play, what you can still expect to have daily-ish is right now we're continuing our Stellaris Let's Play as the The Quill... What is it? It's not the Empire, it's not the Kingdom, it's the Quill something. Sovereignty. I think that's what it is. Uh, so we're going to continue that Let's Play of Stellaris there. Um, the Dwarven Let's Play of Stellaris, a dwarf-themed one, Dwarves in Space, is a hell of a lot of fun. That Slaves to Armok one, that's the one we've been live streaming. Uh, I would very much like to continue that game. However, as you're going to find out, uh, our live stream schedule is going to get sort of turned upside down on his head relatively soon, and so I don't know what the status of that will be. We will see. But certainly the, the Quill Empire, which is a pure Let's Play one, is going to continue, <clears throat> as well as RimWorld Alpha 13, the Extreme Edition that we're going through. That is still planned to be daily-ish again. Every now and again, there might be a dare of, of a gap here and there, but generally speaking, that series is continuing on. As well, we just add in the EU4 Succession game being played with Arumba, and that's not going to be so bad to fit into the schedule because I only have to record, well, about half the episodes. So I'm going to play through the lifespan of a king, and then when he dies, uh, I pass the save over to Arumba, and then he plays through the lifespan of a king, and we keep going back and forth like that, so it makes it a lot easier to fit into the channel. So that's, that's actually looking like a lot of a, a very fun game so far. I hope you guys have watched that one. It's the succession synergy as uh, as Africa there. Um, we're, we started starting off in Central Africa, and hopefully we'll conquer all of Africa. So we'll see how it goes. When time allows, I am still intending to play some more Baldur's Gate. Uh, it is a, a game that gets uh, a, a smaller audience, which means when there's a scheduling conflict, it is the one that gets delayed from time to time. But usually what will happen is uh, when I find myself with a spare day, then I'll record six or seven episodes in a row. So <clears throat> I still intend to finish Baldur's Gate, especially since I still want to see what the expansion looks like. So that is still there, but it is going to continue to be like uh, one of these series that picks up and sort of fits and starts. If it's not in this list, probably it's not being Let's Play it, and I don't necessarily intend to continue it, unless I've forgotten something, but I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> with, uh, we've definitely found that with, like, once you hit that sort of three Let's Play mark, which is really kind of sort of what we're hitting here, um, it's very, very hard to keep up with anything else, especially between uh, two days of live streaming, uh, plus, actually, I forgot, on Sundays I just added a third stream, which is the uh, Dungeon Dragon stream, so that's basically one less day for me to record. It's really not possible to keep up with anymore, and that's why Aurora 4X, I mean, I've, I've addressed it before, but Aurora 4X, that Let's Play is basically done. It was, um, the game was running really slow by the end there, I think mostly because of all the civilian traffic, and I wasn't enjoying it anymore because of how slow it was running. Uh, and so, we may end up playing some more Aurora Forex in the future, I think, especially as a live stream, it might be fun, but that, that Let's Play is definitely, um, is definitely over. And we're having to be kind of, uh, tight with our schedule here, especially because... Hearts of Iron is coming soon. It releases on June the 6th. I absolutely intend to do Let's Plays for it. I absolutely intend to do some streams for it. Really looking forward to this title. And if we're really lucky, maybe we'll end up having finished the Stellaris game before Hearts of Iron comes out. Uh, it'll be a little tricky to fit in because I think there's a fair amount of gameplay left in that Stellaris session. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But yes, absolutely we will be playing some Hearts of Iron. Really, um, really looking forward to that title. I don't know if or when I will get a, a copy of the game, um, or what the embargo will be if I do get a pre-release copy. I mean, guessing, based on how things have gone with most of these Paradox things, most likely YouTubers will get, um, YouTubers and other press people will get their hands on the game a few days before release, and they will be allowed to re uh, release videos and live streams of the game uh, again, a few days before release, but we don't know exactly when that will be. And it might not happen. For all I know, no one will get a pre-release pre copy. Uh, maybe other people will, but I won't. Um, most likely I will get one, but this obviously isn't the sort of thing we can guarantee. But um, certainly by the time June 6th rolls around for the release, you can start to expect some content of Hearts of Iron 4 from me, if not somewhat sooner than that. And obviously that's going to just throw a huge monkey wrench into our schedule, but I'm really looking forward to this game and I'm definitely going to be playing the hell out of it. In terms of live streams, continuing with two regular live streams, actually it should actually say three regular live streams now. <clears throat> On Wednesday, 
I will still be playing Civilization games of some kind. Uh, we just finished a Civ 4 run. We're going to flip back over to Civ 5. There could be some Beyond Earth in there. Far in the future, and uh, what's, what is it, October 21st? There's Civ 6. So far in the future, this will become probably a regular Civ 6 session. Uh, but for now, we're going to be probably uh, st sticking around with mostly Civ 5, I strongly suspect. And that's still going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern time and runs for about two hours. However, this Wednesday, May the 18th, there will not be a Civilization stream because I will be out of the country for a thing, for a game. And I can't talk about it right now, but um, once I do, I can get you some info, I certainly will. But there will be no live stream this Wednesday. So uh, just so you know, Wednesday or May the 18th, no stream for Civ. But typically that will continue. And of course, on Saturdays, uh, starting at noon Eastern time, uh, that's gonna, that's our main mega live stream. The games I play there are mostly mood dependent. Also, the length of the stream varies a lot. On Wednesday, I'm pretty fixed on a two hour time frame. But on Saturday, I sort of say around four hours, but in practice it often goes to or five or even six hours there. Usually what I aim for is three hours of single player plus about an hour of multiplayer with subscribers over there. We play random things like MOBAs or whatever. But what I play is mood dependent. dependent. It's quite frequently a Paradox game or Dwarf Fortress or some other sort of building game. Uh, sometimes it's some oldies and goodies. It, we mix it up. This Saturday, uh, May the 21st, however, will most likely be a programming live stream as part of the Patreon-funded Quilly Teen Creates channel. We'll do some programming there for an hour or two. We haven't done one for May yet, and so I think it will be this Saturday on the 21st. I will make a more formal announcement of that, but I'm 99% sure this Saturday will be a programming stream. So again, it'll be an hour or two of programming, followed by some amount of gameplay, but it'll be a little bit more of a condensed form of the gameplay there. Uh, the program's a lot of fun, though, and you should definitely come out for that. It's going to be a hoot. And then the third stream, which I should add in here, is Sunday, currently at 8 a.m., Eastern time, I play Dungeons and Dragons. Dragson? Dragons over here. I'm doing that. It's a fifth edition campaign that I'm playing with A Kiss for Luck, Briarstone, and Demonac, three of my very good real life friends who happen to also be YouTubers and live streamers and that sort of thing. We just started this past Sunday, which is, well, yesterday, May 15th. Um, the VODs for that will be available on my YouTube channel very shortly. I'm just actually um, rendering right now in another window. So they're going to be online soon. Um, this is, if you want more information about this, you can go to, whoops, it's sundaymorningheroes.com. It'll have all the time, all the channels, the information about our characters and so on and so forth. Um, it was a hell of a lot of fun playing yesterday. Uh, a lot of people came out, lots of support, uh, especially for the other streamers in particular, um, Briarstone, who still has a day job and it works on Sundays. Um, and uh, one of the reasons that we stream at 8 a.m., from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time is that that's literally all he can do because then he has to immediately go into work. So it's not a great time for people in North America. It's really not a good time for people in the West Coast. Um, for Europe, it's pretty good. Although our plan, ideally, is uh, if we can uh, get Briarstone um, to be able to take Sundays off. Uh, he's, he's a smaller channel, so he doesn't get uh, that much income, but some people were really nice to support him with some tips and donations this Sunday. So if we can get him to take Sundays off from his day job, then most likely it'll move to 11 a.m. Eastern time, and that will be considerably more gentle, I think, for everyone involved, and even in Europe, than it moves, moves from, you know, mid-afternoon to early evening, which hopefully will be okay. Um, I know there's no one time zone that works for absolutely everyone throughout the world, especially the, the Aussie audience and there's a lot of you out here, but it's going to be pretty good. Anyway, this session was awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. We got a big turnout. It was a blast to play. I think people had a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, so if you haven't seen it already, go to sundaymorningheroes.com. It'll have all the information for all the links for people and stuff like that. And I'm really looking forward to playing again next Sunday. So yeah, now I'm up to three live streams per week. Yay! So I don't know what that's going to do to our Let's Play series. Boo! But I'll try my best. And again, the biggest disruptor is less of this and more freaking Hearts of Iron that's going to throw everything off. And yeah, don't be surprised if we, uh, if we had, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a bonus stream for Holy Four, depending on the embargo, um, you know, what date that falls on and, and how it'll work. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if there was just extra streaming um, the week of or right before Hearts of Iron, depending on things. There'll be no stream on Wednesday, May the 18th. As I said, I will be traveling out of the country for a thing. And that's it. So there's there's a channel update. Um, things are still going, you know, well. Everything is groovy. Hopefully everyone is still having a lot of fun with the channel. Um, oh, oh, with the travel thing. Um, I will be out of the country, but I'm only going to be gone, basically, for... I'm only going to be... Um, 
at my destination for like a day and I'll be busy the whole time. So there's not going to be um, a fan meet at all. Uh, I can tell you, I guess I'm going, I'm just going to LA for a, a day for a, a thing related to computer games. And I'll let you guys know about that later. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Still trying to crank out as much content as possible. Uh, there's also, yeah, if for some of you still don't know, I have my second YouTube channel, youtube.com slash creates, which is my game programming channel, where I do content every week there too. So trying to fit all this in is a challenge, especially with, you know, also not going insane. But somehow we are managing it so far. So cross your fingers that it all continues to work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.